Carvalho having difficulty standing. And that's, that's common for most fighters. Well, shot right there, hit him. Landed clean. Really good right hand. Now then, Guillaume Rama desperately looked to try to find the takedown. That's the sign of a fighter who is still hurt. Can you and take advantage? Just looking to keep that half step, keep that distance so he can land something big. Beautiful knee off that transition and the body lock comes up top. Which is in back with a jab now, then that elbow from you and again, and he drops Gunyan, and he looks for the finish and he finds it. That was so impressive. He waited and waited and he chose the moment. That Josh Thompson was ice cool from you and yes. Weights in for the first time in our prelims, and the noise they make on the cage floor sort of shudders throughout this arena. Aras for the first time. And get inside and throw that right hand. Look at the trunk on Aras, though, just the thick legs, thick barrel chested. Physically, just looks like an animal, the Hulk. You would pick him out of a lineup as a fighter, that is for sure. Close to being low from uh, Bilo Steni, but he landed it. Bilo Steni's just got to try to... Oh, oh, done. Wonderful spinning kick from Bilo Steni. Now he piles on the bridge and he finds the finish in the blink of an eye. See, Divian looking all ready for that right hand, but he mustn't start throwing too wildly. That's a knee from Solly. What a start this is. They got right to it. No filling out process. They understand what's at stake. Both of them are out here to stand and bang. Oh, the knees buckle there is Sonny and Divian again. Oh, he lands again. And he finds another incredible finish. Roman Nez Divian takes the bow in Dublin. That was sensational. Oh, big shot to keep that time. Huge shot. Come on, staggered back. Blood coming from the wound as well as Corbaz goes for the finish. What about this from Attila Corbaz? Electrifying at the start of round three. We'll never know how it would have been scored because Corbaz has rendered that irrelevant. Galon is flat on his back and our concern switches to him. But he gives the thumbs up, but where did that come from? He's trying to set up that side choke. He's got good positioning right here. 12 fight winning streak for Rodriguez. Two of his previous three wins have come by a submission. That's tight. That's tight. Now that he's beat that leg as well, that's tight. He got yes! Rodriguez! Only his second fight in six and a half years, and he produces a massive win here against the hometown favorite. Of course, the silence in the arena, as you would expect. But he worked hard for that position, and he made the most of it. Spends his life helping people, trying to help himself here. Because that money in the bank now is starting to tell. Zegers is tiring. Kelly cracks up the pressure again here. Stop. It's going to be close. He's going to stop. The rest really taking a close look. For a couple of looks, hasn't he, Blake Rice? Three or four more shots, and he might have to stop this. Now Kelly unloads and gets the win. The brave resistance of Yelly Zegers comes to an end. And the Mogul Mola moves to 5 and 0. Oh. oh, he's in that side choke position there. He's got to get his body flat, head closer. Now he wants to put the crown of his head to the crown of the Jelskis, and that'll make it tight. Look how quickly he's got himself into this position. Look for him. If Najelski rolls towards his left, look for Hassan. Oh, he looks like he's about to tap. Yeah. Taps. Magomed Sharapov gets it done. He's just quick silver.
That little moment right there was, was what makes this sport great. The two of them on their knees realizing, you're tough. No, no, you're tough. It was, it was a moment to capture. Very oh, nice. Fine. Yeah, that was great. I'm sure someone did capture it. Looking for the guillotine. Is an arm in? And, you know, quickly establishing, grabbing that neck. And when you see Feraldo roll through there, you know that it's tight. It's on right now. That is tight. Falls in trouble. Very simply put, that was not the Lucanator. That's a Darce. But he put it on quick. Now you wonder the fact that he would have been. That was a big knee. Yeah, another big knee there, but uh, Clark doing what's possible and in fact in a very advantageous position right now and there's Gorney forced to go on his back but now Clark from the half guard working on head and arm up top. Gorney's in a tight. Yep. And there it is, it's over. So coming back from getting rocked in the face with an illegal kick, clear Kieran Clark, he sees clearly he sees another victory. He sees a submission win in front of a partisan crowd. Wow. Balance with that lead left, and there the feint, and then clocked Ward with the left, but Ward's sitting down now. Ward is rocked, Ward's on his back. Baban is all over Ward with ground and pound. That's a big shots right there. Nice job by Charlie trying to find his way through that, but now Baban is in his world. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look at him going for the, he's got that choke. Nice job by Charlie Ward. Beautiful job by Ward to explode, but now still caught in the clutches of a Ben, swimming frantically, the guillotine choke, Ward trying to escape, it's over! Gregory Baben continues his torrid pace in Bellator, five and all with five first round finishes. This and he improves to 23 and 11 overall, but John, Gregory Baben at 39, he is like fine wine. Jokely wanting to solidify himself. Oh, and oh, oh, oh. Kick to the face, and it is over. Lights out. Levon Jokely just short-circuited the sleek, chic, Sabah Homasi knockout of the year candidate alert. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. What a shot by Levon Chokely. That was beautifully timed straight up the middle. You go back to certain fights. No one has had an impact on their opponent with a front kick as much as I just witnessed from Levon Chokely. Your friend Randy Couture might have something to say about He's, that, but... His teeth were came out, but he, this man is still out. I'm joking with you. That was a sensational, incredible knockout. And here's how it was set up, John. And now you had to miss, but here comes the connection. Oh. And you can see it just puts Homasi to sleep right away. Boom! Look at that. He's out. Just timing and placement right up against the temple. Unbelievable shot. Look at that. The, listen to the sound of the strike. The emphatic thud of foot meeting face. He's in trouble. He's hurt. This is over. Aaron Pico pummels Pedro Carvalho. Happy 27th birthday as Aaron Pico improves to 12 and 4 and records. Oh, man. Carvalho having difficulty standing, but Pico records his eighth knockout victory and John that's his sixth first round finish there's that left hand that we're talking oh, about the again. Goes down. Edwards goes down Johnny Evelyn pulling on the pressure and the ground and pound looking to finish it oh, he's, out. He's, out. Out. he's out Johnny pressure is Johnny champion again Johnny Evelyn Successful title defense, the bell goes, the belt's up for grabs. Johnny Eblin says, not so fast. I'm taking the belt home to America. And what a sequence, because as we will see, Big John, it was Edwards that took the fight to Eblin. He yes. landed a 
shot, no doubt about it. Now it's the brother Leon, unfortunately, as he takes umbrage with the, uh, the jubilation, but a huge win for the champion as Johnny Eblett improves to 14-0 with his sixth KO victory.